All right, there are a number of new trailers out this week, teasing everything from a new Indiana Jones installment to the Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. We are also getting a first look at Transformers, Rise of the Beasts, mm. the seventh movie in the science fiction action franchise. Pull over! I'm not driving! And if you don't know, that is old. All right, that looks like a wild ride. The film stars Anthony Ramos, and it's set to hit theaters in June of next year. Joining us with more on all of this is uh, Managing Director at Fandango, Eric Davis. Eric, great to see you. Welcome back to great the table. To see you. Um, we just, Elaine just teased the Transformers trailer, and we're wondering how these trailers are designed to really get people um, excited about movies for 2023, but also what feedback from the trailer releasing helps the marketing strategy. So how, how does that apply to Transformers, for example? Exactly, and the thing I love about this Transformers movie, by the way, is that it's set in Brooklyn, which we've never seen <laughs> yeah. a Transformers yeah. movie in Brooklyn. And so I'm like, what does that look like? Bring it, baby. You know, and, but like, if you look at the Transformers movie, uh, I just on Fandango's TikTok alone, we saw over 1.5 million views. And that's just on one platform, one clip of this movie, and just millions of views we see from this thing. And it's really a three-pronged approach, is launching out of this Brazil Comic-Con that's happening right now. So it's launching this trailer on a global stage. Simultaneously, it comes online, millions of views. The studio is able to tap into that to see, okay, which characters are resonating, which moments from this trailer are really resonating, because we can lean into that as we get closer to the release. And then, of course, these trailers are then going to play in front of Avatar, which is sort of like this appetizer for 2023 before you, find, you watch the final course. It's all strategic. It's all strategic. All so we also had a trailer drop for a new Indiana Jones movie with Harrison Ford. Mm. Returning to the role is so interesting to see this. How is Hollywood using teasers to revive interest in some of these older franchises? Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, Hollywood for a while has been looking at that IP. And, I, you know, that kind of recognizable IP is so important right now, especially when it comes to theatrical exhibition, these familiar characters. This Indiana Jones movie has been teased for a while. Yeah. Yesterday was significant because we got the title. It's Dial of Destiny. Whenever they reveal a new t Indiana Jones title, it's always great. And there's an AI component there to is. this they, movie. They de-aged Harrison Ford uh, for the opening sequence of this film, which is set in 1944. So they're going to drop us into like a classic Indiana Jones <laughs> fight sequence. And then they're going to pick it up in 1969. This film, Indy, once again fighting Nazis, but... In a different kind of way, it's, it's sort of set in the world of the space race in 1969. Can't and, wait to see it. Yeah, and there's also Guardians of the Galaxy. There's this Harry and Meghan preview for Netflix. Uh, what is the biggest thing you're looking forward to for next year, just in the last few seconds? I, You know, I think that Guardians Volume 3, this is the culmination yeah. of that Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. trilogy. It looks funny. It looks super emotional. You know, and we just watched Wakanda Forever. We're crying in the movie yeah. theater. Yeah. I'm looking at that Guardians <laughs> movie. I'm going to be like, I'm going to be crying again. Oh, really? Marvel, watching that. <laughs> Get your tissues. All right, Eric Davis, thanks so much. Eric. Thank you, Great Eric. to see you.